Hi everyone, I'm Amanda Howell. I'm the business librarian here at UW-Whitewater, and today I'm going to give you some tips for citing using Harvard Blue Book. This is the most common style for citing legal sources, so you'll probably use it for your finance and business law classes. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to cite law reviews. There will be other videos for citing cases, statutes, and websites. There are many other types of sources you may need to cite, in which case you should refer to the Harvard Blue Book. The Blue Book is available for in-library use in Anderson Library at the Reference Desk. It's important that you give credit to others for the work that they've done so you can avoid plagiarism. Not doing so, intentionally or not, is misrepresenting your own work and may result in serious academic and legal ramifications. At some point, you may be required to cite a law review, which is a legal version of an academic journal. There are two basic types. You have those that are consecutively paginated and those that are non-consecutively paginated. A consecutively paginated journal would be one where the first issue published in a year would start on page one and go through, let's say, page 300. Then the second issue published that year would start on page 301. For a non-consecutively paginated journal, each new issue will start on page 1. For a consecutively paginated journal, what you're going to need is the author's full name, the title of the article in italics, the volume number for the journal, the abbreviated journal title, which you can find by using table T13 in the blue book, the page number on which the article begins, the specific page number that you are citing, and the date this article was published. The only difference for a non-consecutively paginated journal article is that you will not have a volume number. Instead, after the abbreviated journal name, you will have the date of issue as it appears on the cover of the journal. This might look something like May 2012. This is an example of a law review that I found in one of the library databases. Near the very top, we have the title of the article. Just below that, we have the author's names, and below that, the article actually begins. At the very bottom of the page, I have the volume number, a shortened form of the journal title, as well as the date. For the page number, I know that this starts on page 808 by looking at the next page of the article. Now we can create our citation. There are a few things to note. When you have multiple authors, you want to make sure you use an ampersand rather than the word and before the last author's name. Also note that the title of the article is in italics. When we put the journal volume number, we just put 66. We did not also include the four that was in parentheses. This is because it is consecutively paginated, so someone would be able to find out which issue it was from. A reminder that the short form of the journal, in this case Industrial and Labor Relations Review, can be found by using Table T13 in the Blue Book. If you have a non-consecutively paginated journal, remember that a few of these items will be different. This page contains some other useful sources you might want to check out if you get stuck as you're creating your citations. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions about citing sources using Harvard Blue Book.